Hello aviators, welcome back to the pilot up north. In today's episode, let's discuss about climbs and descents, but not only climbs and descents. I'm gonna talk about stability. Yes, to do a climb and a descent in a very stable way to control your plane as you want. Nose up and nose down controlling the speed and then the power controlling the rate of descent or rate of climb, yeah, we'll discuss about this too. And so if you are not yet subscribed to the pilot up north, watch the video up to the end and if you like it, give me your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and then activate all the notifications. So we are here stable at 4000 feet, leveled off, and then let's start doing the climbs and descents exercises. Let's do the climb first and understand how it works. The sequence of actions we need to follow must be attitude, power and then trim. So the first action is nose up, it's attitude for the nose up to start a climb decelerating a little bit. 10 degrees nose up is okay, all good. Weight speed drop to the 70 knots. At this point, we can use full throttle, full power, and then trim the airplane to keep like this. Just to remember, nose up and nose down control the speed of the airplane. Nose down give us more speed, uh, the airplane used to speed up, and nose up, the airplane starts to drop the speed. And then we can control the speed of the airplane using nose up and nose down. And the power controls the rate of climb or descent. Using full power, my airplane tends to go up. And we can see our vertical speed indicator showing a climb in a 500 feet per minute. If I And when I reduce the power, the airplane starts dropping the nose. It means going down. Then we control the climb and descend with the power and we control the speed of the airplane using the nose up and nose down. Let's maintain 4000 and 2300 RPM. Oh, just to remember, when we are using idle and the power is in idle position, we need to open the carbo heat. So this is the carbo heat lever and when we open it, we use it to melt the ice inside of the carburetor or even to prevent ice. So we are climbing a little bit. We are now at 4100 feet. Let's return to 4000 to start our training. As the first training will be the climb, uh, it's okay to start climbing right now. Let's, let's do this. The first action will be nose up 10 degrees as I said before. Keep our wings leveled and then watch the speed. Our target speed is 70 knots. We are almost there and now full power. We can do the scan flow, keep the wings leveled and then use the trim to maintain 70 knots. Let me adjust the view here. Yeah, it's better now. And then we can adjust the trim to maintain 70 knots. Our trim can be used to maintain the rate of climb or to level off the airplane can be maintained to for the speed too in this case we are trying to keep 70 knots so crossing now uh, 4600 feet our train is okay as i have more power here uh, my nose tends to go to the left the airplane tends to turn to the left due to the torque Maintaining 70 knots. As soon as we are very close to level off, we need to follow the same the same procedure: attitude, power, and then trim. Let's do this: attitude, nose down, until we see we are not climbing. Look into the vertical speed indicator. Reduce the RPM to 2300 and then start trimming the airplane. We can see the trim wheel moving, adjusting and our aircraft starts uh, gaining more speed and that's it. 
Let's review the sequence we need to follow. Then, to start a climb, we need to use first attitude, and then put the nose 10 degrees up, and then as soon as we have the speed we want, and then full power, as soon as we have full power and our aircraft starts climbing, we can trim the airplane. To level off the airplane, the sequence is the same one. We put the nose down, attitude first, nose down, and then reduce the power to 2300 RPM, and then trim the airplane. It's time to learn about the descent. For the descent, the sequence changes a little bit. We start with power, and then it's power, attitude, and then trim. The first thing is power. Reduce the power to the speed we wanna, we wanna have as a target. The first thing we need to do is to open the carburetor heat to prevent ice in the system. And then we can reduce the power to around 2000 RPM and then wait until the speed drops up to 70 knots. That is our target speed for this exercise we are doing right now. If you want, you can use the trim wheel to maintain the nose in a certain position to reduce the speed to our target speed, 70 knots. 70 knots, perfect, and then I can let the airplane go down. I can reduce the power, and the power will control the rate of the descent now, as you can see, reducing the power, um, it's around 100 RPM per 5 knots, but we can use this for rate of descent too, as we saw before. And then we can reduce, if I want to descend 500 feet per minute, I can use like a 500 uh, RPM less to start my descent. Or I can control, but it depends of lots of things that is happening around us. For example, winds and density altitude and lots of other factors. Yeah, we are descending at 500 feet per minute right now, maintaining like a 70 knots. It's perfect. If I want to increase my rate of descent, I can reduce more power as I am doing right now. And you can see on vertical speed indicator I am going down. I can trim the airplane if I am uh, speeding up. I can put the nose a little bit up. One more time talking about what controls what. The nose controls the airspeed and the power controls the rate of climb or descent. It's very important and you need to remember about this for the rest of your life as a pilot. We are close to level off now at 4000 and then we need to follow the same sequence. Power, attitude and then trim. Around 100 feet before the target altitude we can close the carburetor heat as we are doing right now and around 100 feet before the target altitude in this case 4000 we can start increasing the power to 2300 rpm at this point the nose tends to go up as you can see we need to control this pushing the nose down trim the airplane to maintain 4000 and then the speed starts to speed up and then our rpm starts to speed up too and we can reduce a little bit more. At this point, we can do the scum flow to see if our wings are leveled and everything is okay. And then we see our plane speeding up and maintaining 4,000 feet and everything working as we were expecting. And if you look to the airspeed indicator, the speed we have now is the same we had before. So just to make sure you got it, to climb, we use attitude, power and then trim and for the sense we use power attitude and then trim if you are climbing attitude power trim to climb and level off to descend power attitude trim to descend and level off we can use the acronym APT for climb and then PAT for descend just to remember so that's it for climbs and descents if you are not subscribed to the Pilot Up North, please consider subscribing. We have many, many videos coming up, good videos coming up just for you. Lots of videos for private pilot, commercial pilot, multi and IFR coming up. So subscribe, 
activate the bells to receive all the notifications about the new videos coming up right here give your suggestion for uh, the pilot up north for new videos and thank you so much for following the pilot up north here on youtube on climbs and descent see you next time bye bye